Welcome everybody to the Channel Vision Magazine webinar featuring Bicom Systems, which will provide you with information on communicating in the new workplace. I'm your moderator, Bruce Christian, Senior Editor of Channel Vision Magazine. Our presenters are Bicom Systems Head of Products, Aida Jamek, and Dalibor Bradvich, product owner. So now with that, let me turn it over to Aida and Dalibor. Hello, everybody. My name is Dalibor Bradvich, and I'm a PBX for product owner. Today, I will talk about the pandemic and post-pandemic workplace for workers who replaced offices with home. The COVID-19 pandemic disrupted labor markets globally during 2020. The short-term consequences were sudden and often severe. Millions of people were furloughed of, or lost jobs, and others were rapidly adjusted to working from home, or from home as offices closed. In March of 2020, most companies would have seen their offices as essential to their business. But as pandemic dragged on, leaders have been surprised to learn that people often work just as productively from home. Now that vaccines are by, by becoming available and social distancing uh, restrictions are being relaxed in some regions, leaders uh, need to decide whether to bring employees back to office, remain at home, uh, or use uh, this as an opportunity to adopt a new, possibly uh, more beneficial workplace model. Experts are divided on what's likely to happen next. Some argue that our experiment with working from home has been so successful that the remote work is here to stay. Others speculate that people are starving for face-to-face -face interaction and that uh, central business districts are primed to come back. Uh, splitting the difference, another group believes that the future of work won't be either of these two extremes, but a hybrid solution between home and the office. After all, it's very reasonable that companies would want to have employees ready to work from home if the next pandemic hits. COVID-19 drove a mass social experiment in working from home, and some data says that 20% of full work days will be supplied from home after the pandemic ends, compared with just 5% before. We develop evidence of five reasons for this uh, large shift uh, that is um, better than expected work from home experiences, new investment in physical and human capital that enable work from home, greatly diminished stigma associated, associated with uh, work from home, lingering concerns about crowds and contagion risks and a pandemic-driven dri dri surge in uh, technologi technological innovations that support work from home. I believe we all, we all agree that work from home is here to stay. Uh, in Bicom systems, we are aware that times when a Dex phone in the office was enough are behind us. Modern workplace should be mobile. We are entering a new era, era of digital nomads. We can all agree when talking about work from home, where workers are dislocated, the biggest issue is communication. There are four communication types, verbal, nonverbal, visual, and writing. To help our partners to easy sell products to companies uh, with dislocated team members who need to communicate on a high level, we developed a set of unified communication tools to improve communications while working remotely. Bicom Systems Communication Solution is a software suite uh, developed by Bicom Systems from essentials like PBXware to unified communication applications like Glocom and Glocom Go. It is everything you need to communicate, collaborate, and connect. In our software suite, uh, we have PBXware, an open standards turnkey telephony platform, Serverware as a server virtual virtualization platform dedicated to telephony, Glocom, uh, desktop unified communication software, and Glocom Go as a, a unified communication mobile app application. With this communication solution, we are offering uh, comprehensive solutions for video and screen sharing, as well as chat and file sharing on desktop, mobile, and web applications to support all four communication types, 
all applications um, are working tightly with our PBX solution, allowing users to have voice conversation with video support and screen sharing, um, as well as chat and file sharing. As I already mentioned, this is all part of our PBX solution we call PBX Fair. PBX Fair is the world's first and uh, mature professional open, open standard turnkey telephony platform. Uh, since, since 2003, PBXR has deployed flexible, reliable, and scalable new generation communication systems to uh, small and medium sized businesses, enterprises, and governments worldwide by unifying the latest and most advanced technologies. Our slogan from the beginning was advanced simplicity. Biocom systems, we, we realize that people are wanting simply and easy to use with complex and powerful behavior. And that is exactly what we are offering to them. We are usually hi hiding complex background operations behind a simple button in the web interface. Because of this fact and the level of support we are offering to our partners, PBR, PBXR owners don't have to be technically skilled to be able to configure advanced telephony features, allowing them to concentrate more on the business side. In addition to this, we have a licensing system which allows us to keep our interface as simple as possible with the ability to add new features to the system at any time. Also, we realize that uh, there is no one size fits all solution for business communications. So uh, PBX is available in three different editions, uh, business edition, contact center, and multi-tenant multi editions, each supporting specific features for maximizing performance, uh, reliability, and expandability. It can be used as a class five soft switch and VoIP switch. Uh, so, business edition uh, of PBX Fair is our extensive and fully customizable VoIP solution, providing you with a comprehensive set of features and capabilities of the enterprise phone system. It offers greater flexibility and customization capability, allowing you to have more control over the final product with unique deployment options ranging from on-premise soft switch deployments based on bespoke units and custom hardware to hosted PBX solutions served using serverware in the cloud. Our contact center edition of PBX Fair is designed to simplify and enhance call management at the busy call centers and contact centers of any size, together with a business and multi-tenant edition contact center PBX enables you to increase efficiency in the workplace and transform the way you conduct the business. Give your business all the tools it needs to effect effectively start and manage inbound call campaigns with detailed statistics, reporting, and monitoring. Upgrade to PBX or contact center and provide your customers with a consistent and quality experience. Some of the contact center features are uh, automatic call distribution. Automatic call distribution system uh, helps to keep customers on the line by routing coming calls to the agent with the most suitable skill set who can address the caller's need properly. ACD is a very important component of a call center and communication system. Some of its capabilities include priority writing, first in, first out, uh, queue callback, call monitor, call barging, and much more. Uh, as an addition to ACD, we have a dialer, which adds outbound and blending capabilities to contact center edition of PBX firm. We have uh, also agent and supervis supervisor application. Um, <clears throat> CC edition offers unique experience through agent and sub -super supervisor application, which provides uh, all important information and abilities to agent and supervisor. Being a desktop application, it gives agents a supervisor ability to work from office or a remote location, which is very important in post-pandemic world. Some um, other contact center feature are real-time agent monitoring, contact center, PBX wall board, uh, monitor pages, uh, enhanced statistics, and so on.
The multi-tenant addition of PBX Fair is a VoIP switch with multi-tenancy architecture supporting many tenants with multiple levels, levels of administration providing different permissions. Uh, multi-tenant enables you to increase efficiency in the workplace and transform the way you conduct business in the same way the business and contact center additions do. Uh, basically, a multi-tenant PBX Fair is able to handle multiple customers tenants with a single instance of software. Even though every customer has a dedicated uh, PBX, they all share the same hardware and same asterisk instance. Using the single instance for all customers cut, cuts down operating costs significantly. Um, we also offer a comprehensive role-based manage management system. So system administrators are able to create groups and user permissions in order to delegate the uh, administration to, of PBX Fair. Uh, users are grouped by administrator, site admin operator, manager, and other custom groups. Um, in addition to limiting the scope of changes that can be made by different groups, system administrator can, can transfer management responsibility to individual tenant owners. Our la latest uh, release is PBXR 6.4, and it's a major update that introduces several new features, such as um, MMS, which in addition to SMS functionality we released recently, is adding a new level of communication to our product. We currently support two SMS providers, Telnix and Bandwidth, with more to come. Bulk SMS feature, allows companies to send messages to multiple numbers, which is usable when companies want to share information in a quick and reliable way. Uh, running SMS campaigns is very productive, knowing that SMS response rate is 45%, comparing to 6% of email response rate, uh, for example. Uh, we come to archiving. Uh, by consistence, new SPVX version 6.4 allows customers to use Google Drive, uh, Dropbox, Amazon S3, or Dear Oven, FTP or SFTP server, as well as Bicom archiving storage to archive your storage. Archive data, data can consist of uh, anything you or your company finds important that may be needed in the future. You can keep copies of uh, call recording, voicemails and faxes and so on. Uh, and it will make the search and retrieval of data exponentially easier. PBX Fair is also offered in a white label, allowing you to customize your PBX Fair interface with your company logo and colors. Also, PBX Fair is delivered either in an uh, ESO image or a server uh, delivery format, each with an easy way uh, to set up, to use setup wizard that will make your PBX functional in a matter of minutes. And that will be all for me today. Thank you all. And I'm passing the mic now to my colleague, Aida. Thank you, Dalibor. Uh... Good day, everybody. My name is uh, Aida Yamak, and I'm uh, head of products in Biocom Systems. Uh, today, I will give you some info on the geo-redundancy feature that has uh, recently been uh, released in ServerWay. First, uh, let us uh, have a look at some of the disasters that happened uh, uh, during this year, current year only not even go uh, further back than this year. So in uh, February, there was a power crisis in Texas. Uh, the temperature reached its lowest value in the uh, last 70 years uh, to minus two farads. Uh, this year actually was extremely cold, yes, uh, but uh, it's not even the first time that this happened. Uh, they had it uh, the same situation or comparable situation in 2011 and also in 1989. And obviously did not learn a lot of, from there. 
the, this extreme weather uh, led to power outages that we all heard of. And uh, basically all of the you know, similar consequences uh, related to, to the power outages and caused by them. And uh, everything was stopped in Texas. Moving on to March, uh, a fire occurred in the OVH uh, Clouds data center in Strasbourg. Uh, all their systems, cloud, emails, VoIP, uh, it all went down with significant data losses. And uh, to mention 16,000 customers were impacted all across the Europe. Uh, in May uh, this year, there was a ransomware attack on Colonial Pipeline. Again, uh, all of us, if not, uh, you know, the most of us have read about it. Uh, as a result, four pipelines were down and uh, 100 gigabytes of their data was held hostage. As you can see, uh, it can happen to any type of business and the cost of data loss can be enormous for the company. So uh, simply put, what is geo-redundancy and how can serverware help here? Uh, geo-redundancy feature, simply put, is uh, based on the data redundancy. In other words, uh, it keeps the data generated by services on uh, two or more uh, geographical locations. This is achieved by replication, which means uh, sending a copy for each piece of data to storage on a remote location. I need to emphasize that the, uh, this is not a real-time replication. It doesn't happen you know, uh, immediately uh, in real time. Uh, the data is uh, basically uh, not replicated during the operation of processing. Uh, it is rather uh, happening uh, on a schedule, uh, scheduled basically time uh, periods, uh, which basically are set by the user. The minimum replication period that uh, can be set by the user in serverware is one minute and maximum is 24 hours. And as I said, the user is uh, full control of this. Now uh, compare this to one of our, uh, one other provider, where both minimum and maximum replication periods are 24 hours. Uh, in case of a disaster in one location, uh, if all storage data of VPSs is, is available on the second site, so that's a prerequisite, uh, the services can be restored on computational resources of the second site. Serverware also provides a graphical user interface uh, that uh, enables these operations to be done uh, in just a few clicks. The primary benefit of geo-redundancy obviously is the continuity of business uh, for your customers, uh, basically that you host in your servers. Uh, and in today's economy, it is crucial to have a solid business continuity plan. The goal of serverware replication is the high reliability of replicated data with minimum data shift. Uh, in other words, to keep the most recent good copy of the data on the remote location. This is achieved uh, by verifying each part of the data transferred and the integrity of the whole increment. The integrity of the increment is achieved by the use of uh, OpenZFS uh, as a storage engine uh, that uh, uses Fletcher for integrity checksum. Uh, if there is anything wrong with the increment, uh, it will fail and the previous one will be kept as the last good one. Additionally, uh, server version redundancy can be configured to keep multiple recovery points if the most recent replication cycle is not good to go, uh, an older one can be used. The feature uh, geo-redundancy performs time schedule snapshots and a sync of data from one location to another. It requires full sync to be performed only once uh, on the initial setup. Uh, 
it syncs to a service on a remote site that we call GeoRedundancy Server, or in short, uh, GRS. Uh, after this initial sync, uh, it does only incremental syncs. Uh, only changes in between replication cycles are synchronized, uh, and this implementation lowers link performance requirements between the remote sites. When configuring a replication, uh, the user can pick which domains and VPSs will be replicated per each configured geolocation. Data replication transfer between geolocations is tunneled over encrypted TCP connection uh, between the sites. This uh, eliminates the requirement for <laughs> encrypted VPN uh, setup between locations and uh, simplifies deployment of this feature in production. In addition to the data replication, Serverware also provides an option to uh, set up a series of monitoring tests. Uh, if any or all tests fails, uh, it either triggers uh, a notification to administrator or administrators, or triggers the takeover uh, of a previously uh, defined and saved takeover template. Uh, in effect, this uh, actually uh, enables the uh, automation of the takeover of the services when one location is unavailable. So basically automatic takeover. Yeah. Uh, and it off uh, offers the flexibility to the users to configure uh, which response uh, is the most suitable for them. Okay, so a few words about serverware. It is the only virtualization platform uh, tailored to hosting telephony and unified communications in the cloud in the world. Uh, it delivers a wide range of IP services and applications with uh, five nines high availability, stability, and reliability or maximum uptime. The platform uh, as you can see in the images, is available in the standalone mirror and cluster editions and offers full tolerance, high availability, as well as uh, processing and storage scalability. By far, uh, mirror is the preferred choice of our partners, but uh, our partners uh, usually upgrade to the cluster edition when expanding, uh, as it is perfectly scalable solution. Serverware provides support for uh, NVMe over TCP in the storage pool assembly uh, as of version four. It is a high performance storage networking protocol uh, that offers much lower latencies, higher bandwidth, uh, and removes a RAN link bottleneck. Uh, let's have a look at another feature in Serverware that has been recently uh, released, Bicom Archiving Storage. Uh, Bicom Archiving Storage, or in short, PAS as we call it, is uh, an archiving storage for PBXware archiving data, namely fax, clear reports, recordings, uh, and voicemail. This means that the feature can be utilized in full uh, with uh, PBXware version 6.4. Uh, uh, to comply with the GDPR requirements, the archiving data is encrypted with AES uh, 256 algorithm. Uh, and uh, when mounted, I must uh, uh, stress this out, when mount, uh, mounted, the data set is decrypted. Also, uh, please note to keep your keys safe uh, in order to avoid the situation where your data is encrypted, but uh, also in uh, inaccessible to you. Uh, bus can be managed individually per v VPS or per domain. Uh, the latest and currently available version of uh, serverware uh, is version 4.1. It uh, includes also bus and uh, geo-redundancy, as I have already mentioned, and it was released on July 21st this year. In case you are interested in buying serverware and geo-redundancy, 
uh, please contact our sales department and uh, they will be very happy to assist you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, before we get to get any questions, do uh, you wanna go one more time about how our attendees can reach Biocom Systems? Uh, so uh, the email address written in this slide, sales at biocomsystem.com, uh, is the first point of contact uh, for any kind of uh, inquiries related to our products and services and the solution that we are providing. Okay, great. Thanks, Aida. Can you discuss with us any issues you have faced with storage size and bandwidth with the replication? The uh, storage size uh, is configurable by you. Uh, I, I suppose this is, relates to uh, geo-redundancy. Uh, this is configurable by uh, users. Uh, uh, the users can set the storage quota and uh, maximum bandwidth per site to be replicated. So uh, this enables the users, uh, server where admins basically the flexibility to tailor uh, this, the, all these parameters as per their needs to avoid any issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you provide information on limits on the number of sites that can be added? Um, so, uh, so far the tested number of sites is two uh, on, you know, in various situations, even in the beta testing with our uh, customers and partners. Uh, but uh, technically there is no uh, limit on the number of sites imposed. So the prerequisites uh, are that you have the infrastructure on the third, fourth, fifth, 100th uh, site uh, available and enough resources to take over. Uh, also the, you know, <laughs> the, the bandwidth to, to support uh, the replication. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about hardware limitations on a second site? Are there any? So uh, basically uh, the, the only limitation is that you need to have enough, uh, uh, the, let's say the same amount uh, enough resources for this second site to be, uh, to, to be able to take over. If there is no, uh, that's the encapsulated answer, yes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what makes Bicom's geo redundancy stand out from other companies' products? Um, as I said, uh, so there are, uh, there, there is a lot of flexibility added to the uh, users. Uh, one being, uh, let's say, the minimum and maximum time fully configurable by the users on the, you know, uh, 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 data uh, uh, time snapshots. Uh, the other being, uh, so this is also uh, as a server where is the virtualization platform tailored to telecommunications, geo redundancy here is a uh, perfectly suitable for telecom operators and, and telecommunication services. Uh, the other being, um, so obviously works perfect with Bicom, perfectly with the Bicom product suite uh, and uh, our products in general as a Bicom. Uh, basically, I, I could go on and on, so yeah. Uh, the main plus, I would say, focus on telecom and uh, full uh, flexibility uh, available to the users. Also, the site monitoring tests that I mentioned, where uh, you uh, are able to monitor the, the sites and uh, tailor, again, in a flexible manner, uh, the response that you want to uh, have uh, executed. Um, in case of a, an unavailability of a site. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you tell us what is new in PBXWare 6.4? Well, yes, basically I answered to, all the quest to, to that question during the presentation. In 6.4, we added uh, MMS, uh, bulk SMS, uh, we improved our archiving storage and support for uh, Bicom archiving storage, which is part of, of serverware. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, here's a question. Uh, someone who loves the uh, PBXWare and BICOM uh, wants to know if there are any plans to make PBXWare horizontally scalable and uh, therefore no longer reliant on a single VPS architecture. Well, basically, we have we have some uh, some plans and some ideas, but there are some um, issues we are facing it, and we need to find the best way to 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 solve them. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, what sort of security options does Vicom offer for its products? We focus on the tele, uh, telephony and telecom, actually, or unified communication products. However, uh, Ciprot is uh, our uh, firewall that comes uh, at the moment comes currently within serverware. It is a solution to protect the platform from any kind of attacks that may happen. Here's another one for you. You mentioned that you have two SMS providers. And uh, this, this attendee wants to know is Twilio as a SIP trunk provider that supports an SMS for multiple countries around the world anywhere on your roadmap in the future? We support all SIP um, providers. So it's, it's something that can already be uh, used. And we are currently developing uh, SMS uh, support um, for Twilio. So it should be part of the 6.5 release. Well, that's, that's good to know, okay. Um, and here's another one. Uh, an attendee wants you to elaborate on the major competitive edge of using Glowcom app as opposed to other competing brands. So basically um, it is a uh, part of the whole solution, as Dalibor has mentioned. Uh, basically, when when you come to us, we are one stop shop, uh, and with PBX, where you have the whole solution rather than a product per pro a product. Uh, so you know, with the the uh, telephony unified communications, you know, as a whole package, you get it, and Glocom is one part of it. And uh, I think in my perspective, that's the main advantage of using Glockcom compared to the others. Okay, great. And that leads us to one last question. And that is, what features should we be expecting in the future? As Dalibor has mentioned, integration with Twilio, uh, so regarding server where, uh, virtual networks and management networks uh, will be released, uh, uh, Opus and echo cancellation in uh, Glockcom. So there, there, there are a lot of things uh, being cooked in the Bicom systems kitchen and uh, keep following us for the new uh, good stuff coming up very, very soon. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. And uh, as you were answering, we got another question that came in, and uh, this attendee wants to know what other SIP providers are going to be supported in 6.5 or in the near future? We already support all SIP providers. Uh, I mean, by trunking, uh, there are no restrictions uh, of that kind, but it's different with SMS providers because they all have different API. So we have to develop a um, different kind of integration each time we are integrating with new SMS provider. I want to thank Viacom Systems Head of Products, Aida Jamek and Dalibor Bradvich. And now from all of us at Channel Vision Magazine, our thanks to Viacom Systems and thank you for attending. Have a safe and prosperous day. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for attending.